I am probably the least bit qualified for this type of game. Ladies, gentlemen, and marshmallows, I am a banana, and this is Cure. It kind of combines two of my favorite things, biology and all that gene-splicing crap, and an RTS. Yay, although I rarely play RTS games now, because the last time I played Civ V, my match lasted two hours, and I got pretty bored. But this is science-y, and I love science, as maybe like five of you are aware. So, yay, let's... thingy. This is a game where you play as bacteria. How enthralling. Uh, it, that, that's basically it. You play as bacteria and you have to survive. This is only the demo version. The real version is set to come out eventually. Um, but yes, your objective is to, as your little bacteria, to grow and multiply and, at present, to simply destroy all the other bacteria and pathogens. As it says, char. It's kind of it, really. You get the ability to grow your troops. You only start off with two bacteria. And then, through self-fission, split them apart, make more. And then you build your army. You can morph these into ones that can attack and stuff. And There are only two types at the moment, but it's still fun nonetheless. Look at that. Already up to eight, so that's great. Let's go and try and find more resources. That's calcium, which is useless at present. More calcium, which is still useless. This game is available for you to throw money towards. Through... Yeah, bad things, bad things. No, 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 not the enemy. I can't fight them. <laughs> run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away. God damn it. Off your piss. Go on. Oh, there's more bad things. Oh god, I'm making a hash of this. Come on. Run away. Please. I'll just piss off. I can't fight you. Well, I can't, but uh, if I find some toxic cloud and drive you in there, you'll die. But you just piss off. Arsenic. Come on. Swarm into the arsenic. Ah, you just... They don't give up. Is it clear yet that I haven't actually beaten this game? <laughs> 20 minute demo. And not even gotten close. I think the best I ever got to was reducing enemy strength down to... Um, I've been 70 odd percent before I got wiped out. And that was with 5 minutes left on the clock. No, nope, no, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Flee my pretties. Look at that. 31 seconds. Try again. It spawned me in the enemy. That's fair, game. That That's totally fair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, man. It's not cool. Did I, did I lose him? I succeeded in losing him. Okay, that's good. I can start again. Right. If you're, like, in a classroom environment, this game would be amazing at teaching you cells and stuff. But you have glucose, which is for cell growth and energy to do crap. And then you'll have uh, sulfur, which is spelt correctly, which amazes me, because this studio is based in America and they can't spell for crap. Um, but uh, sulfur, I think, does... Uh, it allows you to turn into a soldier, so basically turns them into an aggressive unit that can go off and... Ah, uh, there's some sulfur. That can go and actually fight and defend you, which is what I need at the moment. They're also doing some glucose as well. They can gather multiple resources if they happen to overlap, which is useful. Which means they're all getting nutrients and the sulfur and the yummies. Oh, soldier unit, please. Ha. You, get deeper in the cloud so you can gather resources. And you too, go back to the glucose field so I can mass produce you. 
And this is basically what the game is. It's survival. You can attach spikes onto the edge, which gives them the offensive ability. And yeah, it's an RTS about being a bacteria. Apparently in the later stages of the game, once it eventually gets you know closer to being an actual game, you'll be able to do a almost like career mode where you build up your bacteria from something crappy like this into a fully-fledged organism that can, I don't know, do whatever the fez you want it to. It can kill and do this, that, the other, and paint your house all in five minutes. Which is amazing, and I can't wait until it gets to something like that stage, because then this game will get truly awesome. I mean, it already is pretty awesome itself. Frustratingly hard, but... Right, we need to find some more things. Can't kill that cell, but I can kill that cell. So these giant cells, blood cells, you can kill them. And when you kill them, you can then break them down. You know, like you're an actual bacteria and the like. And that has dropped some protein. Once the dead unit's gone, move them in. Drop some more of that protein, and the protein will be nutrients. See? This is... I like this game. This game is sciency, and I love the sciency. So... This game make me happy. And these soldiers can also undergo fusion themselves, so they can just duplicate willy-nilly once they have enough resources. Which is great, because it means you no longer have to just work them up from a ground stage. The colonizers, which are the little long, thingly ones, you don't have to then morph them into the soldiers to do it. You don't have to waste the resources. You can just jump the gun if you can. Charge! Kill that one. Kill it. Do it. And you'll see it's emitting this weird pinky haze. The pink haze is toxic. You, you die if you get in involved in it for too long. These myself can do it as well, but I, I don't really bother. It's more of a defensive thing, whereas the soldiers do the offensive. And yes, like these ones, you can also break down the enemy units and absorb their goodness. This is alcohol, same problem as arsenic. Deadly poisonous to bacteria. So, you know, they don't want that, so keep them out of it, and they'll stay happy. Be wary, wary of the clock, because in this demo you only get so much time. Charge! Splat them all! Tactical retreat! Kill that one! Do it. Good! Charge! Don't rush all of you in, dumbass. Yeah, push him out of his cloud. Push them out the cloud, they stop producing the cloud. Simple as. But you leave him producing the cloud for too long, and the cloud gets way too big. The cloud becomes sentient and then starts stealing all of your data. Ah, oh, look at all the glucose. We shouldn't sit around and farm all these resources, but, you know. Yes, I really should be running around and slaughtering everything. To Valhalla! Kill it. Kill that one. And then that one. Do it. Yay. Nope. Oh. Oh, get away from the deadly pool. You kill him. No, don't kill one of mine, you douchebag. Spiky. Yeah. Now look at that. I'm now only down to this many. Good job. Yummy, yummy nutrients. Feed my pretties. We will take over the world with anthrax. <sighs> if only. I mean, what? Charge! Kill that one! Push it, push it, push it, push it. Real good. <laughs> My turn to avoid the defense. <laughs> Those words. My turn to deploy the defenses. Got there in the end. 71%. Seven minutes to go. Mm. There were bad guys up char. Just start emitting stuff. Just do it. Do it. Come on. Yes, crawl into my toxic cloud. Mwah, 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 mwah. Ah, oh, two thirds of the board left. 
Uh, just keep pushing them through. If we can draw them all out, then... That's magnesium, which I think is still useless, yes. I need more... Nutrients! I need the spikes! Why can't I produce the spikes? Because I need more sulfur. Darn it. Go on, bait him over. That's good. He'll die eventually, because this cloud heals my units, but kills them. And I can't see how much health he has, and he is refusing to die. Come on. Two minutes. I am not clearing two-thirds of the board in two minutes. Sulfur. Yay. Right as the game is coming to an end, I finally find the chemicals I desire. Great. Right, I saw some bad guys down here. Let's actually, there were some bad guys over here, apparently. Yeah, kill it. Yeah. 20 seconds. Go, go. Kill. Kill. Kill them. Do it. Ah, uh, you're out of spikes. I'm out of time. That failed. Darn it. But, that's cure. And, I really like it. So, you should like it too, if you like RTS games and biology. This is just a demo, you can download it for free. And try it out for yourself, because it's really quite fun. Agonizing, but fun. You might be surprised, or you just may not care. All I know is that when the actual game comes out, it's going to be potentially a bit more immersive and you're actually going to be able to meddle with the genetics of your bacteria. So yeah. Bon appetit.